In the previous tutorial we have created two tables. So if you have your SQLite database, simply type dot tables to see your tables and type dot schema to see how the data should be stored. So in this case we got an ID and a name. We can simply insert data into this database. Like this. And in this case, uh, we typed the wrong value, right? We wanted customers. So that's, we entered our first uh, item. Could add our second one. Third one. Well, we could go on. And then we can select or show all of this data using this line, this SQL query. So there you go. This is the data inside the table customers. And we can do the same thing for employees, right? Uh, but we actually want to see the structure first. So just to know what how, how the data is formatted. And now we can type insert into employees um, ID name salary values uh, and yeah you need uh, this symbol on the end and the, the idea needs to be unique right because this is what we specified the primary key so we cannot have two people with the same idea that's what the primary was for so if we show data in this table, there you go. So it's like uh, we can have we can insert data using the insert into query, and we can request it using the select query. Now one thing you noticed is that we had to specify uh, specify every idea. So you can imagine this can become very annoying when you have hundred thousand uh, employees or items, records, whatever. So you want to ha to have uh, to make that auto increment, and we'll get to that in the next section. 